Hey, hi, hello, it's me, Carmen, and I'm an onion in Alaska, and I have been strong-armed into coming out to go hiking around a lake by none other than the little onions, green onions, of course. I mean, it is a gorgeous day, and the fireweed is looking splendid. So we'll see. Well, try it. What does it taste like? Um, let me have one. Berry spots. Excuse me. Sorry. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's hard to remind me of something else. It tastes a little bit like pear. Or like a tart pear. Yeah. You might press both. Somebody wanted to go berry picking, so here we are, and look, there's a berry. I'm an onion in Alaska, and we are in Willow today, picking berries. Say that again? Well, yeah, I'm sure we're not the only ones that, uh... Yep. Cloudberries are the Norse word for them. The native Alaska word for it is salmonberry. I don't know why it doesn't look like Baked appleberry, salmonberry. I think because it looks like roe. You know what I mean? Salmon roe? I think that's why. It is highly prized for this. That one's a little overripe. Oh, here's one. Ooh, that's a nice one. The fresh berry is a very rich source of vitamin C, the anti-scorbutic vitamin. When frozen immediately after picking and kept frozen until ready to use, the berry retains much of its vitamin C value. Okay. One sample of berries is kept in an ice cellar for well. For how long were they kept in the ice cellar? Uh, from the fall of April to the following year, were found to contain 178 milligrams of ascorbic acid per 100 grams. Wow. Clean is loud. Okay, so this one's not quite ripe. That's a uh, salmon berry. How? Oh, go away, bug. However, could that be? I'm glad. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that the bonnet is helping you out. Mm -hmm. Not to mention the fact that the peak cap had not yet been invented. Oh, I was being sarcastic, so. We would not be this close to the swamp. We would not be in these bushes digging around. No. Nope. It seems like something Auntie Carmen would do. Oh yeah, Auntie Carmen would be up for it. No, that's pretty iconic. There's one back there. I don't know if you can see it. But it's not ripe yet. Give it another couple weeks. That mosquito was sucking my blood. Look. Look. Oh. Yeah, the wild cranberries, they look too much like some of the poisonous berries for me. Um, yeah. There's a uh, bald cranberries, highland cranberries, uh, and then there's a different type that grows. Uh, low bush cranberry, high yeah. bush cranberry. Yeah. Just a whole bunch. <laughs> um, of all the things that I'm worried about, I'm not worried about folding in the water. It's not that cold. You getting any back there? Yeah, a few. Closer to the water, we should get more. Hey, hi, hello. So, this is us on our walk. Very picking. Um, so I wanna show you guys how swampy it is before we go. Can you see my shoe? Like, okay, the lake is right there. So, ah, we're not gonna go too much further forward because I am literally sinking in the water. And 
that's it. You guys have a great one from Alaska.